consider the huffs and puffs emitted from your vehicle on your commute to work and back home? Do you realize that your car emits different amounts of huffs when idling versus driving? More puffs on the inclines and less when you've been driving for quite some time. Emissions modeling. This is our focus in the VIP mobility group at the University of Pretoria. Good day, I'm Ron Grabe and I'll be sharing our science in the field of agent-based transport simulation. Now when I say agent-based, I'm referring to the fact that we can simulate an individual with unique characteristics among an entire population, which in our case is the Gauteng province. These characteristics we are interested in are the different emission profiles unique to each vehicle type. The mobility group set out to capture the diversity in the vehicle population of Gauteng. We want to simulate with accuracy each vehicle type and its corresponding emissions profile. Now why would we want to simulate emissions on a provincial level? Suppose we have a model that represents the Gauteng vehicle population. In that case, we can implement scenarios and ask questions like how much do Euro 2 vehicles, lots of huffs and puffs, contribute to the pollutants emitted on a daily basis and consequently if we tax these heavy huffers and puffers would they drive less, choose different routes or divert to a more eco-friendly mode of transport. So we started by sampling from second-hand car sales to get a handle on what the vehicle types in Gauteng are. Random sampling gives us a pretty good idea of what the population looks like while only considering a small subset of vehicles. This saved us a lot of time. The product of our data fusion is a distribution of Euro emission concept representing the Gauteng vehicle population. We use these, along with reference data from HBFA, to synthesize the population of agents in Matson, which we model on the road network for 24 simulated hours at a time. Now, how would we confirm that our simulation does indeed produce accurate emissions data? Well, if you head over to this YouTube video, you'll see some tax engineers taking the PEMS unit on a field test in the suburbs of Pretoria. With this, we can measure emissions under real driving conditions and use the data to validate our simulation model. Accurate, localized and validated emissions modeling on a large scale. This is our goal at the VIP Mobility Group and with this, we hope to make a meaningful contribution to the field of transport simulation in South Africa.